I just want to talk to you today about what's coming out of your mouth. You never know when that little birdie's going to be sitting there listening and go tell it. The Lord said in his word that you really don't want to know what people are saying about you behind your back. I don't want to know because I don't really care. Because I know that I'm right with my Lord and my Savior, my Master, Yahshua Hamashiach. And I know that we're going to suffer persecution. I know that we're going to suffer sufferings and mockings and betrayals. Betrayals will come from those closest to you, saints. The brethren, the false brethren, the ones that say Yeshua, the ones that say Jesus. I'm telling you, saints, we need to be careful what we're saying out of our pie hole. You know, put pie in it, keep it shut. Because every word that you speak can and will be held against you in a court of law. And that court of law is the great judgment. And I'm praying that, saints, you make it to the Bema seat where your works are going to be judged and you're going to be rewarded, but you're not being judged and sent to hell. Saints, I, I, I literally sat and, and listened to these people making fun of the people that are doing good works and then the people came that are doing the good works and they're complaining. And I'm like, what am I, why did you send me here, Lord? What? Okay. Lord, if the, the people that are getting the good stuff are complaining and the people that are giving the good stuff are complaining, are, are we at an impasse? Is this some sort of standoff? And he reminded me, Leslie, Matthew chapter 11, uh, 12, verse 37, you will be justified by your words and you will be condemned by your words. So do you get in the crowd with the gainsayers and the naysayers and the complainers and the murmurs and the disputers? No. Stay away from that crowd. According to Psalm chapter 1, we are not to stand in the counsel of the ungodly. We're not to sit in that place with sinners. Jesus himself went in to the prostitutes and the homeless and the drug addicts and the demon possessed and he fellowshiped with them and transformed them. He did not partake with them. He did not get drawn in with them. He transformed them and they changed and they were never the same again. So I'm going to encourage you today, saints, if your talk is idle, if your talk is gossip, if you're murmuring and disputing and you are doing works and your heart is not right, if you're receiving works and your heart is not right, I'm praying whether you're a saint or not a saint, I'm praying for your soul. Father God, let us do all things without murmurings and disputings that we may be held harmless, blameless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom we shine as lights in this world, holding forth the word of faith, knowing that we have not labored in vain nor run in vain. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father God, I ask that each person would guard their hearts, for out of the heart flow the issues of life. And Father God, let them be aware of the fact that out of their mouth, the abundance of their heart will come. And if there's ugliness in it, they're going to be saying Jesus out of one side of their face. And they're going to be cussing out of the other side of the face. And they're going to still think that they're saved and going to heaven. Father God, they can say what they want to. Well, God's not going to send me to hell. No, you're going to send yourself to hell because he already told you. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Be ye therefore holy even as I am holy, says the Lord. So saints, if you think you're going to make it and you're still going to be taking it for granted that you can continually sin and just keep asking for forgiveness, it's not about 
sinning repetitively and habitually. It's about when you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father that if you confess your sins, He is just and faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That does not mean that you can actively follow after sin or a sinful lifestyle or a lifestyle that is not becoming more and more like Jesus and more and more holy like your Father in heaven, Yeshua Hamashiach, God in the flesh. Holy Spirit lives in you. And if He lives in you, He is not going to sin. He is not going to lead you into sin. And He is not going to sit there idly and do nothing when you do sin. He will be grieved and He will draw back. So you can think whatever you want to, saints. Idle gossip is just that. Unproductive, unprofitable, unholy, unrighteous, not pure, not clean, not of the Lord. I'm guilty. I've repented. I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do it. I'm not going to be drawn into it. I'm not going to do it. And that's one of those things that I've had to work on. So I'm praying that as I have humbled myself before the Lord, you will humble yourself before the Lord. I love you. God bless you. Matthew chapter 12, verses 33 through 37. Check it out, saints. The words of Jesus. God bless you from the Mount of Olives. Have a wonderful day. I love you. And I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua. Hamashiach over you to cover you, hide you, and protect you. I decree and declare that if you speak Jesus out of your mouth and you're living holy and separated unto him in an obedient, sacrificial lifestyle, the blood of Yeshua hides you, protects you, keeps you. You have firewalls, smoke screens, and a bloodline of protection around you to protect you and keep you in all righteousness and holiness. Later.